In Multnomah County, the governor's new restrictions ease today to allow outdoor dining. So it means 50 people will be allowed total, and that's with no more than six people allowed at each table. Tonight, Liz Birch has been talking to local restaurant owners and venues about trying to stay afloat through the pandemic. Liz, one restaurant manager says this newest rule makes them hopeful. Yeah, absolutely. We talked to the owner of Zeus Cafe and he says he's optimistic that having that outdoor dining, even at limited capacity, will really help. Now they're owned by McMinimins, who also owns the Crystal Ballroom here, which has been struggling. This giant venue sitting empty. The manager of Zeus Cafe, Hal Finkelstein, says they've already seen a big response from the community. He's already been taking phone calls for reservations from people excited to be able to sit outside for a drink or for dinner. They have their outdoor space here set up and ready to go. He says they just started building business back when the freeze restrictions went into effect, which was tough for him and tough for his employees. We had built our business back to a very high degree, and then with the takeout only, it really then, you know, dropped off um, substantially. It's kind of like, uh, you know, the the uh, the air went out of the balloon. You know, we were we were pretty much, I want to say, riding a high, and then it became a real low low. While they're able to make back some of their profits by seating outside, other restaurants, bars, and venues in the McMinimins restaurant family aren't so lucky. The Crystal capacity is about 1500 people but right now they're not allowed to be open at all and they have no idea when they'll be able to because of the current restrictions they say they're paying about seventy thousand dollars a month in rent and utilities right now coming up in five and six we talked to them about what this means for this iconic venue live in portland liz birch point six news certainly an iconic place as you said liz thank you